The United States is a country of immigrants. In fact, more immigrants come to the United States than any other country. Many people come here to avoid the circumstances in their home countries. However, many others come here to make it big. They have big dreams and they want to be successful in America. They come here because the kind of opportunities that they can get in the US, they cannot get those opportunities anywhere else. And among such people, a good number of people come here to study as students and many other come here to work. All such people dream of making it big in America, but do they all succeed? Obviously not. Not all of them are successful. And when I say successful, what is the definition of success here? Let us take a very simple definition of success. In this context, when I say success, I mean you have a great career in this country, your income is in the top 5% of the population, you have a nice home, and if you are settled here for good. So what are the characteristics and what are the factors behind those people who are able to succeed and reach the top 5% of the population here? Let me make it clear right in the beginning that these five success factors, not all of them are in your control. Some of them are, some of them will not be in your control. If some of the things that I mentioned are not in your control, well, that is how life is. Some people do have unfair advantages and some do not. That is the hard truth of life, right? To illustrate with an example, look at all the billionaires, all the famous billionaires, Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Elon Musk at Tesla, Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook, Bill Gates at Microsoft. They all actually came from wealthy families. There are some exceptions such as Sundar Pichai who came from humble background, but for the most part, all these people have wealthy backgrounds and they did have some unfair advantages, right? All that said, please keep in mind that these are not hard rules. These are mere significant predictors of your chances for success in America. The first factor and characteristic that determines your success in America is to do with your age at which you come and your personal life at that time. If you come to America in 40s or 50s or even 30s, your chances of making it big are quite low. That is a hard truth. It is great if you can come to America when your age is less than 10, but it is still great if you could come in your teenage years. But if you are still able to come to America in your early 20s, your chances of success is still much higher than those who come to America in 30s, 40s and 50s. Moreover, if you came here to study, your chances of success is much higher than if you came here directly for a job. Now, second very important point and please know that a lot of you may not like it, okay? For you to be really successful, if you come here in your early 20s for education, you also should be single, not even in a relationship. Forget being married. If you are single, you are able to take bold decisions when it comes to your career. You don't have to listen to somebody else and their preferences to make your career decisions. If you are young and single, you are not responsible for anyone and you have zero accountability towards someone else. So if that is your situation, all else being equal, your chances of success is slightly higher than other people. The third point within age and your personal life is your family background and your family income back home. If you come from a family that has stable income and reliable income that does not depend on you to send them money, then again, you are more likely to succeed in America because you don't have to worry about your parents or your extended family back home. For example, if you decide to pursue a PhD program, you are not making all that much money, but you can still continue with your PhD program rather than having been forced to work if you know that your family back home is not struggling financially. And the last advantage within your age and personal life category is if you have some kind of family in the US and if that family is supportive, then you have better chances of success than others. If you have some uncles or aunts or cousins, they all can help you and guide you settle down sooner. And then they can also help you when you are trying to look for jobs or they can also help you when it comes to networking with others and they can also help you with your career decisions. So a supportive family in America or supportive friends even who are here to help you if they are here before you, then that could be a great advantage to be successful in America. Now the second category of factors or characteristics that determine your chances for success is to do with your professional background. And when it comes to professional background, there are three sub factors. Number one, if you come from a top school from your home country, 
then that could be a great advantage if you are from iits or if you are from shinghua university in china if you are from seoul national university in korea all these top school tags will greatly help you when it comes to your career in america because the truth is that having good degree always helps but if you don't have all that and you come to america and then you have a strong research profile where you got high quality education and extended education such as masters or phd then again your chances for success long term success are very high the second sub factor within professional background is if you have solid work experience prior to coming to america then that can also help when i say prior experience it is probably better if you do not have extended experience such as 6 10 20 years because then you are much older right if you have 2 to 4 years of prior work experience in the domain in which you will be looking for opportunities in america then that will give you a great advantage because when you are applying for internships and job opportunities your cv will have greater weightage than some fresher the third sub factor or characteristics within your professional background is if you have a great mentor who is very influential and is very helpful to you then that can really help you succeed if you are in a company of highly motivated and successful people while you are working or you are a student here then that will put you ahead of others whereas if you are working in a company where people are looking at their watches whether it is 4 o'clock and if they can go home soon on a friday then that might not be a company that you want to be in if you aim big here let's be real only if you are going through real grind and you are among successful people or very motivated hard working people then your own chances for success will be much greater right the third success factor and characteristic is pretty obvious it is to do with your capability the first sub point here is to do with your competence in your area of work if you are highly competent if you really understand your work if you can go deep in your work and understand all the nitty gritty details and you have expertise in it then of course your chances for success will be much higher and that can happen only if you have put years of hard effort in learning those skills but that comes with a caveat you could be the greatest person in your area of work but that area should be something that is relevant for this country it all comes down to what this country needs specifically let me just clarify if you have a stem degree okay and if you are working in a field that is really needed and in demand in this country let's say if you are an absolute expert in machine learning or artificial intelligence or cyber security and many other domains okay then your chances for getting good opportunities are very high the third key point related to your capabilities is that you must get organized and have a clear career trajectory and career path what i'm specifically intending to say is that you should not be dependent on these desi consultancies that control your immigration status if you are in a company it doesn't have to be a consultancy even if you are in a company where the manager is trying to make you do things because they know that if you lose your job you will be in trouble later because of your immigration status then that is not the right place to be so if you are in a company that gives you a clear career trajectory and is not taking unfair advantage of your situation then your chances for success will be much higher the fourth key factor and a characteristic that will determine your chances for success in america is to do with your personality and again i will divide this into three portions number 1 your command on the english language is very important you should have a strong command on english language you don't have to be the best english speaker but you still should be very comprehensible in spite of your accent everybody has an accent that is all right but if people can understand you very clearly and if you have good command on the language then your chances for success in america is greater than others who do not speak english all that well the second sub factor of your personality is your understanding of local culture and your ability to assimilate even after coming to this country if all you do is watch movies in your local language of your home country and all you do is follow your local country's news then you are not assimilating all that much do you understand american cultural nuances do you understand what people mean when they are referring to local cultural aspects for example many years ago i was a master student and there were a bunch of americans and i was also a part of that conversation they were discussing american idol 
and there was this another girl from another country who was also a part of the conversation but she had no clue what we were all talking about and then you know what she did she had to open her computer and google search american idol to even have a clue of what people were talking about she was that unaware of the culture here it is very important to know what kind of movies people watch it is very important to know what kind of politics this country has it is very important to know what kind of music people listen to it is very important to know what kind of sports people enjoy what kind of activities people take part in you need to at least have basic knowledge on all these aspects the third and the last aspect of your personality factor is to do with your personal ability to connect with people if you just come to workplace do your job well and leave then you are not really connecting with people do you have good conversations with people can you be engaging in a conversation can you actually connect with others that all greatly determines your chances for success if you are good at finding common ground with people and making friends then your chances obviously are much higher now let us discuss the last key factor for success in america it is to do with jumping the immigration hurdle do you have a clear pathway to get through the immigration system because as it has been for many years it can be very hard for some people if you come from a small country that does not have backlog in green card processing then you should be fine but if you come from a large country that has significant backlog in the employment based green card process then you might want to rely on o1 visa or for green card which is extraordinary ability eb1 category and all those things or maybe if you find love here and if you marry a local american then that might help you get through the immigration hassle or if you come from a country that has green card lottery system where you can come directly with a lottery then that could be another way of getting through the immigration hassle simply put these things for the most part are not in your control if you are able to cross the immigration hassle provided that you have other four qualities as well then again your chances for success in america are very high on the flip side let's say you do not have any green card issues or any immigration hassle but all you are doing is driving a cab or running a store a grocery store then you are not going to be among the top 5% of the people here right because then you are not doing anything different or special to summarize the five key success factors are your age and your personal life situation your professional background your capability your personality and your ability to jump the immigration hurdle now let me repeat the key point these are significant predictors for your chances for success in america but even if you do not have one or some of them you can still be successful just that it could be little harder for you and you will have to strive harder for success but sometimes not having unfair advantages make you stronger i hope that was helpful thank you for watching